Good morning everyone, it's Tuesday morning and we come to do our Lent readings this morning. We're in John's Gospel chapter 7 and we're going to read verses 10 to 24 this morning. Let's read this together. But after his brothers left for the festival, Jesus also went, though secretly, staying out of public view. The Jewish leaders tried to find him at the festival and kept asking if anyone had seen him. There was lots of grumbling about him among the crowds. Some argued, he's a good man, but others says, he's nothing but a fraud who deceives the people. But no one had the courage to speak favourably about him in public, for they were afraid of getting into trouble with the Jewish leaders. Then, midway through the festival, Jesus went up to the temple and began to teach. The people were surprised when they heard him. How does he know so much when he hasn't been trained, they asked. So Jesus told them, My message is not my own. It comes from God who sent me. Anyone who wants to do the will of God will know whether my teaching is from God or merely from my own. Those who speak for themselves want glory only for themselves. But a person who seeks to honour the one who sent him speaks truth, not lies. Moses gave you the law, but none of you obey it. In fact, you're trying to kill me. The crowd replied, you're demon possessed. Who's trying to kill you? Jesus replied, I did one miracle on the Sabbath and you were amazed. But you work on the Sabbath too, when you obey Moses' law of circumcision. Actually, this tradition of circumcision began with patriarchs long before the law of Moses. For if the correct time for circumcising your son falls on the Sabbath, you go ahead and do it so as not to break the law of Moses. So why should you be angry with me for healing a man on the Sabbath? Look beneath the surface so that you can judge correctly. Amen. And we ask God to bless his, this his word. Again, this story in John is quite unique to John. We, we don't really we think of Jesus as getting into a debate or an argument with some of the folks around him and the, the grumbling and people sort of not sure who he is and saying one thing and thinking another thing and, and not wanting to get involved. So it, it's interesting and it's good for us to read over it just to, to remind, remember what Jesus went through. To remember that for Jesus it wasn't plain sailing whenever he started his ministry. But that he did face a lot of opposition and arguing and, and people falling out over it. He faced um, people trying to plot to kill him. Uh, it happens at different times and Jesus um, walks away from them. And you, you know, it's just, it's amazing the story, just seeing what happens with Christ. But this bit at the end about law and only doing the things that suit you. Jesus says in that closing verse, look beneath the surface so you can judge correctly. So often we look at things on the surface, don't we? We look at what is happening and we make a judgment call. The, the whole world does that around us. We don't maybe look at what's happening behind the scenes or what's behind what's the undercurrent. And that's something we see time and time again in life in general. The undercurrent here is that the, the leaders, the Jewish leaders, don't like Jesus. He's rocking the boat. He's taking away their power, their authority, their, their followers. They're looking for any reason to get rid of him, to discredit him. And they're trying to pick on the fact that he did a miracle on the, on the Sabbath, saying that he'd worked. And there's Jesus saying, well, you know, if it's the right day for you to have your son circumcised as a Sabbath, don't you bring him to the temple? Don't you make the priest work? Uh, to, to circumcise your child, um, is that not also breaking the law of, of Sabbath? Whereas you say you're keeping the law of Moses. And he makes the point of saying, but circumcision was around long before Moses. Yes, it was re-established during the time of Moses, but it was already there. Um, so by saying that you're keeping the law of Moses for the circumcision, it's, it's not true. You're picking and choosing. God doesn't want us to pick and choose when we follow him. doesn't want us to pick and choose when it suits us to do the right thing and it suits us to do something else. But he wants us to do it wholeheartedly, completely. But doing that could be difficult. Doing that could bring us problems. It could bring us opposition. It could bring us 
persecution, but it's the right thing to do because it's following God's and what he wants us to do. So what will be your challenges today? As maybe you work from home or study from home, as maybe you, you have to go into somewhere to work, uh, as, as maybe you're on furlough today, um, as you're interacting with, with some people, maybe maybe in person, maybe by computer, whatever, what, what, what possible complications could you see arising today? What possible opposition could you see? What might somebody say to you, even a conversation with a friend about faith, about what you believe? Where could you see yourself having to take a stand? Will it be difficult? Yes. Will it be troubling? Possibly. Will you have to do it in your own strength? No. Ask God for the strength and he will give it to you. Ask him to help you to be bold, to stand up for him. Ask him to empower you today in all that you do. Let's pause, let's pray. Father, thank you again for this day. Thank you just for a, a, another, um, another morning, another opportunity to come together and read your word, to, to look at the challenges that it brings to us. Lord, thank you. We thank you that we can do this. Lord, we remember the members, those from our church family who can't do this, those who don't have the technology, those who are not well at this stage, those who are struggling. I just ask that you be near them, that you, you put your arms around them and, and look after them and care for them. And Lord, be close to them. Father, thank you that you have blessed us with your word. Help us to stand up for you. Help us to be bold for you. Give us the, 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 the strength that we need to do this. And just help to remind us that you're always with us. So Lord, we thank you. And go with us now this day, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining in this morning. Um, I trust that it's a good day. Um, it looks like it's going to rain outside this morning. Uh, so maybe it's a good day to stay inside and to be working this way. But uh, whatever you're up to today, may you just know God's peace and blessing. Take care and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.